Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Um, over this past summer, I took the boards and I just wanted to come today and show you guys the resources that I used to study for that exam. Um, before I continue, I just want to tell you guys that this video is not sponsored by any of the companies that um, who created these resources that I'm going to be showing you. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start with the first book or resource that I used, which was the First Aid NBDE Part 1. So I, a lot of people use this book and I see why because it's a nice recap and summary with a lot of detail actually of all that you really need to know for the board. So I liked this book because I felt comfortable um, after every subject or topic I felt like okay you know I think that they covered most if not all of what I should know for the board so that's how I felt when I was using this book it is very dense like the, it's really really dense and took me a couple of like maybe two weeks to go through it once because I wanted to make sure I actually maybe a little more than two weeks I don't remember how long it took it took me a while to get through this book I mean to be as thorough as I possibly could it took me a while there are, there are a few errors in there but um, not that many but yeah so as you're reading you might find like a couple of errors in there and that's really something I didn't really like um, but hey I mean I guess there are errors in a lot of resources I don't know but yeah so but overall I like this book and I like that in the back it says what the new Bible for MBD part one preparation yeah because it takes a long time to read it but yeah I like this book a lot so I would recommend it for you if you're um, studying for boards or figuring out what resources to use so this is book one a resource one all right and another resource I used um, were the ASDA the National Board Dental Examination test packets so these are actually sold on ASDA's website and you can buy, these are old released exam questions um, and you can buy these booklets online. I think they also have the PDF format you can pay for online and just get that online too. I'm not sure, I didn't do that so I got the physical copies. I liked these. These, you know, after studying for a couple of weeks it was nice to, you know, take a test and, um, you know, just see where I was in terms of studying and figure out what to focus more on or like what type of questions they like to ask you know if it's a particular topic you know are they focusing on certain things or like certain diseases so I really liked this because it just helped you it was a great way to help me prepare for the exam so the ASDA test packets and they have like from 19 the oldest one I had or I have I think from 1986 yeah, this is the oldest one I have from 1986. So they go quite far back. Um, but hey, the more practice, the better. That's one thing I would say for this exam. The more questions you see, the better because it helps you. It really does help you figure out, you know, how the style of the exam will be for you, hopefully, on that day. So yeah, this is resource number two that I use. And then. Sorry, I keep going in and out of the screen. Everything's, <laughs> everything's on the floor. Um, the third resource I used was the Dental Dex Part 1. So the Dental Dex is, if you're a flashcard person, this is a great resource for you. So it is, I, can, I don't even know how many flashcards, maybe a thousand, over a thousand flashcards. Um, and they're grouped into different um, subject areas. So you have the Dental Anatomy flashcards, Right, so let's say, for example, this is a dental anatomy flashcard, and you have maybe 200, I, I don't remember how many, and then you have the biochemistry and physiology flashcards, you have the micro and pathology flashcards, you know. So this is great because it asks you the question, and you can answer it, and then on the back it explains to you what the answer is, and also like all the information that you need to know. Um, in order for you to have gotten to that answer. And extra information, you know, because it's a, it's a mode of studying. So I really liked this because it was, again, more questions um, and more practice for me. And also, there it was really detailed um, explanations in the back. So very helpful. I really enjoyed that. And also, they have the... Once again. 
they have the the dental decks part one testlets which come with the book so the boards have these case scenario questions it gives you like this case and then has all this information about it and then they ask you questions based on that case so there are about maybe six cases on the exam I think and so this you know gives you some practice with it and it comes at least it came with my decks I have the older version of the decks um, which comes with uh, like picture flashcards you know separately like in the box but I think the newer versions have the pictures when you flip the card so let's say if this card is talking about what is this about microbiology and pathology and there's a picture that will help explain the answer I think the picture is like right here somewhere um, so but really I, I looked at some of the newer um, versions and a lot of the questions were similar they do have a lot um, a few more add-ons for the newer version of course um, but generally I think they are pretty much the same so it's up to you if you're more comfortable with the most updated version then you know go ahead and get it um, but yeah so that was dental decks and I, I, I enjoyed using de the decks I did so this is resource number three and then the very last resource is actually an app on my phone um, it's called the dental boards mastery let's go back the dental boards mastery app so I enjoyed using this app and I did not find out about this app till like three weeks to my exam my friend told me about it and it's pretty much like the decks It's similar to the decks but it's just um, a more convenient method because it's on your phone and you can you know you can take it wherever you know I think you can also log on to if you have a, a tablet iPad um, I don't know if you can get on from your computer but I think it's for tablets and phones and I really enjoyed it because it broke down everything so you have like dental anatomy questions anatomy histology I hope this thing is focused um, anatomy pathology microbiology and then let's say if you clicked on it let's click on that it breaks it down into even further furthermore so you have general structure pulp and roots periodontium, primary tooth morphology, and you can test yourself. So let's say I go to, oh, well, I've answered all these questions. Let's go here. So dental anatomy question, it'll ask me a question and I'm just gonna select one. I don't know if this is the answer. And submit answer. And okay, so I'm incorrect. It tells me the, what the correct answer is. Um, and then it'll provide me with an image of what the, you know, what, I should be looking at you know in order for me to be able to answer that question so I really enjoyed it and sometimes it provides mnemonics and what I really liked also was that it allows you to categorize the question that you just answered into don't know um, somewhat know and no so for example because I got this wrong and that means maybe I don't know it I will categorize this into don't know and then it will move on to the next question and then at the end you can come back and you can see the reds is don't knows, the yellows is somewhat knows, and the greens is definitely no. And so you can you can focus on all the somewhat knows. So you can tap on that, and it'll show you only the questions that you marked as somewhat knows. So for example, this here, and then I answer it, submit, I get it wrong, because I'm not really paying attention, but yeah. So I like that, and then it gives you the explanation. And sometimes it gives you a, mnemon a mnemonic which is great because it helps you remember. There are a lot of things, I mean, a lot of nerves, branches, you know, so the more mnemonics you have, the better. Um, I really enjoyed this app, to be honest. It felt, it made studying feel like a game, sort of. So I really, really liked this app and it was convenient because on the go in a car, when you're, if someone's driving and you're just sitting in the back of the car, just pull it out and just study or on a bus or, you know, it was just very convenient. So I actually enjoyed this app a lot. Um, yeah, so those are all the resources that I used for the exam, and I think that they were all really, really good resources. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, I guess I can put in the description box below links to maybe where you can find these resources online. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Okay, bye.